society has impressed upon all of our minds that men should be the one doing the work. They are expected to be the worker and the provider in the household. Women are the ones who should be staying at home, doing the housewife stuff, doing the chores and fending for the children. Although this shouldn't be the cases as we must advocate for gender equality, despite this notion, it appears that it probably comes naturally for most women to want men to win them over. Stay with me. Women are quite known for loving the thrill of the chase. Isn't it the reason why there is the whole playing hard to get situation? These days, breadcrumbing is also another way to put it. It's obvious why we are suddenly coming up with these new terminologies. Most women, especially the dominant ones, use this method to filter out guys who do not meet their standards. It poses, although subconsciously, the question, how bad do you want me enough to chase me? To what extent is a man willing to go to to prove your affection for a certain woman? Obviously, we cannot speak for all the women in the world, but the list that we have come up with pretty much gives you a great picture on why women really do this in the first place, whether that is intentional or subconsciously. So if you want to know more, like and subscribe and stay tuned. Commitments can be boring. Why commit yourself to one person, providing that it's a monogamous relationship, when there's plenty more fish in the sea? Women who know their worth will not settle for just any guy. The only guy that would make them commit is the one who can tick all their boxes, otherwise they stay single. And yes, us ladies, we do have imaginary checklists when we are looking for a partner. And if you have managed to tick all the boxes on her checklist, well then boom, you've got yourself a relationship. Otherwise, if they feel like you are still not the man they are looking for, I'm sorry, but she might just not be ready to commit. However, she would have a great time dating you and keeping things oh so casual with no labels and no clear direction where the relationship is heading. Besides, it's fun dating around and meeting new people without having to be tied to one person. They love that they are able to explore as much as they want to, and there's no need to worry about someone getting jealous or someone waiting for them to get home to. It's the flexibility to explore options, to meet new people, and to get to know themselves better that makes them think that commitments might just not be what they need at the moment. Makes them feel wanted. In a long-term monogamous relationship, this might be quite hard to achieve, especially if you have been together for years. Even months, you start feeling like your partner is getting too complacent having you around. Now just imagine those couples who have been together for a while. There will be fights and disagreements over things. There will be a lot of crying, sleepless nights and misunderstandings. And women in relationships would even start feeling insecure about themselves. What if their partner does not love them anymore? What if they are meeting someone else? They don't want me anymore. If you have been in a relationship, you probably get what I'm actually trying to say here. Relationships sometimes can be messy, and even if you are in one, it's hard to work through these emotions and get them all sorted out. It's so easy to feel like their partner does not want to be with them anymore. And while these things are a total normal part of every relationship, women who love being single do not find the idea of getting into the mess enticing. They would rather just be on their own. At least men they just met find them beautiful, hot and charming. And in situationships, it's easier to go down this pathway because there is hardly a relationship and the person they are seeing is merely a stranger, so men can only see the best and lovable parts of them. And this makes women more attractive and likeable to men, and women love it. We just love it so much when we feel wanted by a guy, especially if it's a man that we like back. Natural desire for the novelty. Have you ever wondered why most of us would rather watch a new Netflix series than go back to the ones that we've already watched? Why would we rather try a new restaurant, a new dish, than have the same thing for dinner? These things are not rocket science. Both men and women are naturally inclined to seek novelty rather than commit themselves to something that they have already experienced before. There is the thrill and so much excitement venturing into the unknown. Women like challenge. 
Surprising as this may seem to some of you guys, a woman likes to be challenged too, at least to some extent. There is something so attractive, something so alluring in wanting someone we can't have. It makes us think, what's up with this man? Why can't I have him? And it's fun to solve puzzles and uncover the mystery of a person they are just getting to know. They see this as a mission to be accomplished, a problem to be solved. So if you are playing the mystery man, then you are in for a game with the woman you have in mind. Women do not only want to be chased, but they also have fun when they are the one chasing a man. Remember, women are usually the ones being chased by men, so when a man is suddenly not so into them and shows no signs of interest in them, the woman is intrigued. They are used to charming men around them, but why is this specific man so unfazed by them? Hmm, it's a sure way to catch their attention. And if you have noticed in movies or series where women get ignored and even get treated in a rude manner by guys, well, these types of women tend to find this weirdly intriguing, so they end up getting attached. It's important to note though, that this does not work for all women. It's all about the drama. I guess this one is pretty predictable. You have predicted this for sure. It explains why most women are into movies that would make them cry their hearts out. It explains why most women love to watch tragic movies where the lead couples do not end up together or maybe even worse, die in the end. We all want some drama, and being in that long-term and monogamous relationship can be maybe boring too. Yeah, there would be a couple of dramas here and there, but it's the usual boring drama of couples in a long relationship. It's the same old story with couples in a committed relationship. At the end of the day, they know that they love each other and that they would choose to be together no matter what, despite all the arguments and misunderstandings. It can easily be worked out. How about stirring up a drama with a person you are in a situationship with? Now that's a different kind of drama. Suddenly, women are alive. The thrill of uncertainty, of the what ifs, of not knowing how things are going to unfold. It's energizing. After all, it's better to feel something than to feel nothing at all, right? At the core of every relationship or even situationship is the clarity of intent from the start. What is the reason for starting off a thing with a person? What do you wish to achieve? Oftentimes, setting the intent is commonly overlooked and regarded as unimportant as long as both of you are having fun. Sure, we all want to have fun and make things as simple as we can, but for everyone's peace of mind, the intent between you two must be established before anything else. Otherwise, either one of you will only end up getting hurt. And while we do love some drama in our lives as mentioned earlier in the video, too much drama can lead to heartbreak that may cause lasting damage to one's sense of self. We want a fleeting kind of drama, not the kind that would last for months and years due to unintentionally inflicting pain on someone, even for just a brief moment, shared a few days or weeks of our lives with. If you think I missed something from today's video, let me know down in the comments. Give me a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to make my day. But if you want to get your name rolling up next to my face, like these amazing people's names here, then all you have to do is click the link in the description bar below to find out a little bit more. Have an amazing day. See you soon.